Welcome to day three of my golfing tips. So I had a nice email from Ben Hackham and today he wanted me to talk through a correct chipping technique. He's given me some more suggestions to work on so I will be doing these the next couple of days. Uh, feel free to email him with any kind of questions um, or things you want me to cover in these little drills. So he's asked me about correct chipping technique. So what I see when I'm teaching a lot is people tend to put their weight in the wrong place. So they tend to put their weight on their right leg and have their hand position back and then they try and scoop the ball up. This has a really bad effect because what you tend to do is you either tend to hit the ball very fat or you tend to fin the ball across the green. You get no control over distance. So if I get a ball here and show you what I mean. So if I show you from here, so if we have our hands back, what we're gonna see is that the bottom of the club is gonna skim the ground and this bounce here is gonna skim and thin the ball across the green. What we want to do is push the hands forwards and this makes this bottom edge flat to the floor and then you can skim the club across the floor. So if I move back a bit, you can see that we don't want our hands back here, we want our hands forwards. So a good little thing to think about is keeping all the weight on your left leg and the shaft to be part of your left arm. And then we're going to think of chipping a football over the keeper. So you can lift the club up, down, always keeping the weight on the left side. So it's up, down. Now, to get the different distance control, what I tend to do is get you to use free golf clubs. So if you want a short distance, use the sand iron. If you want to do a medium distance, use a nine iron. And if you want to do long, seven iron. Most people will go straight away to the bag and pull out a pitching wedge and try and hit it soft, medium or hard, but you haven't got the skill set to be able to do this. So if I show you what the technique actually looks like in reality, so what I'm going to do is just do a chip from this angle. So as I said, you're going to keep the weight on your left foot, feet are going to be slightly left of target, shoulders square, hands forward, lift the club up, down and through. Okay. I won't hit it this way because I'm going to lose the ball, but ball in line with the back foot, hands forwards, weight on the front foot, shaft is part of the, the left arm, and then you're going to go up, down, and that's how you do it. So this is what I want you to practice at home, because a lot of you won't have golf balls at home, is get two clubs, put one under your left arm, push the two together, and what you're trying to feel is it's all very robotic, part of your left arm and the shaft is one, and as you can see, it's linked together. Now, if you cock your wrist on the way back, you can see that this club's gonna come out. And then on the way through, it's gonna stop you trying to flick your wrist because you can't, because the club's there. Um, thank you for listening today. Um, I can't get through to everybody, so if you know a friend or someone at the club um, that's not getting these emails, just get them to give me an email direct and I can put you on my mailing list. Stay safe and I hope to see you soon.